Welcome back. Let's play some 10 minute games on Shogi Wars. Good luck. Hmm. Let's see, how does this opening work? I have to figure this out every single time. So, this is not Joseki because, well, it's complicated. Um, this does not look like Joseki. But, on the bright side, this freestyle mode of play... Um, allows us to have an adventure. I admit this isn't the first time I've looked at some sequence like this, and this is quite risky. But I don't remember how risky it is. Alright. Um... Hmm. Maybe I need to defend this with the silver. Yeah, this is not good. I mean, this is original, but original tends to be quite risky. Um. All right, here goes nothing. So my idea is I want to advance my rook. In advancing the rook, I don't want to concede anything. So... Of course they can just ignore this pawn, but... I don't know, I felt like I've asserted something here. I'm always rocking the boat. So here we do it again. All right, they capture. I'm threatened to regain my pawn, and they could just ignore the threat. Also, they could defend the pawn. I think defending the pawn might actually be the calmer move here. Normally, just ignoring my threat ends up being a good idea. Because my threats, because they're original, tend not to be the strongest moves. Um, hmm. I mean, unquestionably, my king is in the wrong spot. So we're going to deal with that. That's more important than trying to reclaim this pawn immediately. But also if the king tries to move again, then I have like some ways to attack it. I'm trying to block the path to my knight. It occurs... no, this seems like the safer move. I was about to say it occurs to me it might be even safer to move the silver on the same file. But, um... Then they could drop a pawn here. So... This might actually be the safer of the two options. Note that my king and rook are not on the same diagonal, so I'm not losing my rook here. At least I don't think I am. Um, 
interesting. such a fragile shape but i think it's fine the worst part though is they could just push pawn 5-5 five five, and my attack looks really silly um but looking silly's not the worst thing i've had i've done far worse than just looking silly It is nice that this bishop's on an excellent diagonal, so if the silver ever moves off this diagonal, I can exchange bishops and immediately be threatening. Uh, squares close to the opponent's king. If this gold moves over, then the king is entombed until the gold moves again. So they're considering silver 5-5, five five, pawn 5-5, five five, or maybe even rook takes bishop. I've briefly glanced at these, and I don't see anything wrong for me here. If the rook drops back, they're threatening a pawn drop, but I think I've got that covered. So this pawn's hanging. And this pawn is supporting the silver. If I take the pawn, the bishop's supporting the silver, but um, that's only one piece. If they move the rook here, the rook is its not on the safest square ever. Um... Hmm. No, this looks interesting. Let's pursue it a bit further. I expect them to drop here. And then I'll take this pawn, and they might drop another pawn here? I don't know. They have three pawns to drop and three vials potentially to drop them on. Other than the rook's file, which seems... I don't know. They might also attack my bishop directly, uh, which would accelerate all these attacks. If they do that, maybe I take the silver, maybe they do rook takes, or maybe bishop takes first, bishop takes, rook takes, and I drop a bishop, they drop a bishop. Hmm. I'm not sure. Okay. So, one option is I could sack. Um, given that that's an option, do we need to look at any other options? Bishop, rook, rook, bishop. Um, rook. Uh, it looks too interesting. What if I say no? Nanafun. I don't need to go into this line. It's risky not to, though. Oh, man, I hate doing that. I hate this retreat. 
but my king is unsafe and has some prospect of later becoming safe. And I think that's the difference in our two positions, is that I could solidify this, and I don't think they can solidify their end of this. We'll find out. Clever. All right, so what now? Um, all right, you get my lance. You are correct. I think we might only have time for two games today. And that's just because I started late and I was not able to make up for starting late. Oh, fun. <laughs> well, we might scratch that in a second. Um, yeah, I missed this lance drop. It's pretty convincing. Um, because if I attempt to return the favor here, yeah, I'm met with resistance. Okay. We're still only going to have time for two games, though. No matter how impatiently I play. Hmm. There we go. We're using the king. He's a strong warrior. He can fight his own battles, etc. Um, but no, my entire camp disintegrates if they find this rook drop. Uh, but maybe it's fine. Maybe this is fine. I don't think so, but... Let's find out. Hmm... Okay, they get my lance. Oh, I'm sorry, Rick takes lance. Gofun. And I'm going to be that guy who wins on time today, unfortunately. It's just how time controls work on this website. 
I'd offer a draw if I could. But that's not how shogi works. And unfortunately, there's no option to add more time. Thanks for the game. I played impatiently this game, uh, for sure. My own time situation in real life is affecting my patience, so sorry about that, but well played. Good luck. I saw they favor Go Keegan Central Rook. That happens to be an opening that I thoroughly enjoy as well. Hmm, perhaps I'm fundamentally misunderstanding something here. No, don't push that pawn. It's not necessary to push that pawn. Not only is it not necessary, it's generally not useful. Um... I like this move. I keep getting told that it's not a good idea, it's a waste of time, etc., but makes me happy. Of course, once I move the silver, then they open this diagonal. Mm-hmm. Hmm.
Hmm. When the bishops are in tension like this for so many moves in a row, it means one of us is making a mistake. At least frequently that happens to be the case when I'm playing. Um, maybe it's not necessarily true, but just in general it favors one player or the other each time to get this exchange. I did not see any advantage to taking it, but I didn't see any disadvantage to not taking it, so I pursued that path of neutrality there. Um, they're wanting to drop a bishop here and promote it. I'm saying no. But now I have this diagonal wide open, and there's not a pawn they can use to block it. Not while all their pawns, or not while pawns occupy each file here, they don't have a pawn to block this diagonal. They might be forced to use their bishop. Um, whether or not they want to. Maybe they do want to use it. Who am I to know? Um... Nanafun. Hmm. What a tense position. I want to move the knight, but I sense that moving the knight could be a disaster. Tactics lurk around every corner here. And it's not clear how I use my bishop. I missed that, obviously. Um, but maybe it's still fine. Place your bets as to whether this is still fine. <laughs> it's probably not. Um, hmm. Oh. Look, a tactic. That's exciting. Mm. I can't just ignore that. Apologies to the opponent for getting caught up in my tactics. This was an interesting game, and then they blundered. Could still be an interesting game, but it could also just be pain.
I want to drop my silver here and chop all their pieces. All right. Very well. It looks like just a matter of time until I drop my bishop and start taking more stuff. I maybe drop a pawn instead. Um. Go Fun. This bishop covers the square as well as this diagonal. I want it to pick a side. Picks that side. Sampun.
2分1分30秒。1分。I think that's that's enough eventfulness. That's enough events for one day, right? Whoo boy. Very good game. Well played. Uh, thanks for playing. Uh, despite perhaps it being an inconvenient hour for the opponent. I don't know. It's still good fun. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.